Would you like to play? Come on. It's easy. 52 cards, neatly arranged by suit and rank. Alone, their value is little more than the number or face with which each is stamped. But let them dance on green felt. Let them be touched by hands that know how to coax the connections. By a mind that can choreograph perfection from the devilish swirl of infinite possibility. And suddenly, 52 separate soldiers become an unforgiving army of kings and queens. Deuces and jacks. Aces and nines. Then their value is measured in treasure. In hopes and hardship. In wasted lives. In broken men. Come on. It's easy. Let's play. Nobody was quicker, nobody was smarter, and nobody was better. He thought quick on his feet, he was light years ahead of the other players, and people feared him. He was someone who would like to stick it in your liver, as we say, in the racket. At the poker table, he was one of the most obnoxious people I've ever known. I almost got in two or three fights with him. He hissed. It's almost like he needed an exorcist. He had this deep down anger. Away from gambling, he was totally a different person. He was the most gentle, caring. He just had the biggest heart. He was generous to a fault. Money just sifted through his fingertips, just like sand through a, a timer. He would come in the house with rubber bands around $100 bills, and they'd probably be $20,000 in each, or $10,000, $10,000. He would supply the cocaine. At one time, he'd run in a huge rock the size of like a bowling ball. I was talking to him about the drugs. He said, I like what drugs do for me. You'd see him sometimes where he'd been up all night, his eyes are red in circles and there's blood coming out of his nose. He just did things in a huge, huge way, whatever it was. Playing, snorting, nobody could keep up with him. Mondale Pine is a remarkable tree. Tall, sturdy, strong. It somehow pulls life from dry desert soil. Ironic that a man who was small of stature and who struggled with personal weakness should find peace beneath a Mondale's sheltering boughs. This is Palm Cemetery, Las Vegas, Nevada. A simple stone marks the final resting place of the man most considered the greatest poker player who ever lived. Stu Unger. <laughs> 